With this lesson, I'd like to show you how you can insert a Google map into your website. I currently have the Metro Cafe project file 17 open here in Adobe Muse. You can find this project file in your web page contents folder and your exercise files folder. All right, now I want to focus on this location page up here in our site map in plan mode. If I hover over the thumbnail, I could double click and then open up the location page inside of design mode. All right, you'll notice that there's not a whole lot on this page, and I've left room underneath these two lines of text here to place a Google Map. All right, now before I go to Google Maps and, and access that map, pull it up, and then copy it and bring it over in here, I need to determine what size I want to make the map, okay? Because you can do this. You can customize the size of the map at Google Maps. All right, so first let's just grab the Shape tool up here. It's the Rectangle tool. And let's just click and drag to make a container. And really, we're not gonna even going to keep this container. We're just kind of using it in order to determine what size container we really need. I could drag this all the way to the end. All right, if I do that, if you look over in the bottom right corner there, I have some readings, uh, the width and height settings for this particular rectangle. And that's because I still have the mouse button held down. As long as I have that held down, I can read the uh, values there, which are set to width 1060 pixels and height 450, 458 pixels. All right, 1060 by 458. That's pretty much the size that I would like this map. All right, I could always round that up. If you go in here and you go into your transform panel, you can see that as well. There's your width and height settings for the selected object, which is our new rectangle. We could always increase this to just 460 round it off, press tab to go to the next field. So now I change the size from 1060 to 460. 1060 by 460 is the size that we're looking for. All right, well, let's say that that's what we want to use. We can go now into Google Maps. I'm going to go over to Firefox, which is my default browser for this system. And I already have Google Maps pulled up. And I've entered in Chicago, Illinois as a generic location for our map. All right, now if this were a real restaurant that we were creating a real website for, we would want to put in the actual address of the restaurant so that the viewers of this Google map could locate the restaurant, okay? Now, of course, this is all supposed. It's all fictional, so it's not a real restaurant. We're just using it as an example. So I'm instead going to use this generic map of downtown Chicago. I've already zoomed in to about the level that I want it. So now what we need to do is just get this guy into Muse. All right, and to do that, we need to click on the link button up here. All right, it is possible to select this HTML in here in order to embed it in a website, but we want to customize it. We want to customize the size, all right? Because right now, this is set to 425 by 350, and that's not what we want. So we're going to click the Customize button. We can then click in Customize, we can type in 1060 width, and then we can type in 460 height, press tab. You can see that it's updated the preview down here. And now we need to select all of this HTML, copy it, and paste it into the website. All right, so I can just place my cursor anywhere in this HTML. I can choose Edit, Select All or Command A to select everything in this field. All right, and then we want to choose Edit, Copy. All right, we can then close this window, go back into Muse, pressing Command tab on the Mac or Control tab in Windows to go back into Muse. All right, now I still have this rectangle selected. I'm going to go ahead and delete that by pressing the Delete key. And then I'm going to choose Edit, Paste. It'll take a few seconds to render up the HTML for this map. And then once it appears, and there it is, we can select it with the selection tool and place it on the page wherever we would like it. OK, that's looking pretty good. Let's take a look. All right, so now we have our Google Map in place. It's exactly the size that we wanted it. And now we can preview this. So if we go into preview mode here in Muse by clicking the preview button, there is our map. 
All right. We can use the controls up in here in order to zoom out, zoom in, move, clicking the arrows. It works just like it would if we were at the Google Maps website, only we have this now embedded into the Metro Cafe website. All right. So what we've done is embedded some arbitrary HTML from a third party site. All right. We were able to copy and paste that HTML and then place it into this website. All right. The great thing is we were able to customize the size of the map, which is really cool. A lot of people don't realize that you can do that. If you just take the time to measure out how large you would like it, you can go ahead and customize the size of it in your Google Maps Okay, when you're, when you're copying the HTML. All right, so to review, what we did here is we were able to embed arbitrary HTML from Google Maps by sizing out how large we want the map, then going into Google Maps, finding the location on the map itself, and then clicking the link icon there, where we could then customize the size of the map, entering in those values that we determined in Muse, and then copy the HTML from there, paste it back into Muse, and then you have your Google Map placed on your page and your website.